Right, okay, so what I've got on here is, is Montaigne's Extreme Smock. I've already um, got, a, got a video talking about the Extreme jacket which I own, which I wear when I'm winter climbing. This is the smock version, and for most people this is the better buy because there's less bulk. Uh, it's just I love wearing a jacket generally all winter long anyway. Right, so what you've got going on here is, first of all, you've got pile Pertex. So the shell of this is Pertex, which is, which is very, very wind resistant, for all intents and purposes windproof. And then behind it, you've got pile. You've got a deep, lush, soft pile. And what the pile does is it traps, in the pile here, it traps a lot of air, which you warm up, which helps keep you warm. But at the same time, the long hairs in the pile pick up moisture off your damp skin, and that moisture travels along the fibres, gets out to this surface and evaporates. So as long as your body is warm, which of course it will be because you're active, this jacket's moving moisture actively outwards. All the moisture that you create and any moisture that lands on it and gets into it. It's, it's very old technology actually. This technology's been around for years. The army used to love it because people could be out day and night and lying in ditches and all sorts of things and wearing these. They'd keep them warm. It didn't matter that you were wet because um, when this material gets wet, you, you warm it up. After about 30 seconds, you warmed it up and you feel good again. And then it dries very quickly. So in terms of this jacket, the features that um, are important is you can ventilate it by opening the side zip here and opening this zip here, which lets air, uh, air, hot air rises. So it comes through here and it issues out like the, a flue in a, in a chimney. You've got a chest pocket here, for, which is massive for your map or your guidebook compass, torch, head torch. You've got pockets here which actually go all the way through. So that's a hand warmer pocket. So if you stood on a belay or you were walking out from a climb and you were freezing, you'd put your hands in there. But you can also get your gloves, your wet gloves, and put them in there. And because the jacket's continuously moving water out and drying it, it'll, it would dry your gloves. You then have um, a crotch strap. Because you, a lot of people would wear this next to the skin. I don't, I wear it over, I would wear it over a thin base layer. Uh, because I don't want any sort of air cold spots, maybe in the middle of my back where the fabric's not touching, and the, and the base layer negates those cold spots. Um, as you reach up in this jacket, there's an opportunity for the jacket to move with you a little bit. To be honest with you, it's so well cut, I, I don't think it's an issue. But what they do is they give you this crotch strap, so you can put this uh, under, your, under your crotch and tighten it up. So as you're moving in the jacket, the jacket doesn't rise up and pull out of your harness. Uh, I personally, this, this is a medium and I'd normally be a large, and this fits me really well. And you want it to fit your torso closely, by the way. This doesn't want to be a baggy fit. It wants to be a fairly close fit because where the fibres touch, the garment works best. Uh, the hood is brilliant. If you want to take the hood off, you can. Uh, if you were climbing with a hat and a helmet, you could take the hood off. I love the hood because it means I don't need a hat. So when you put the hood on, it's got a volume adjuster at the back so you can fit it to your head like a cap. It's wired so it stays in place. Obviously it's pile lined so it feels like a big pile lined hat. Imagine the weather's really grim and that the, the spin drift is blowing straight at you. Well when you do this up and wrap it round here now, the protection you've got there over your chin and your mouth and your cheekbones and your eyes is just fantastic. You feel so secure. So I really like this hook. They've given you a neat little feature here where if you were belaying or climbing and you didn't want this done up because it's too warm, rather than have this flapping about in the wind and bothering you, there's a little popper on each side, which means you can, you can clip that down so you've got it out of the way and not flapping around. So the level of attention to detail in this jacket is, is really, really good. I love Pile Pertex. I find it extremely comfortable to wear. And for people who are starting out winter walking or winter climbing and you haven't got, you know, um, you haven't got the budget to buy a base layer, a mid layer, a soft shell and a 300 pound shell. Actually, you know, on paper, you don't need anything but this. Like I said, I'd wear a base layer underneath, but a lot of people wouldn't. This jacket will do all those things for you. Now, my experience of using these, this, this type of jacket is it actually 99% of the time works brilliantly without anything over the top. But I have been in severe blizzard conditions where it's been extremely wild and cold, where I've taken um, a shell out of my rucksack and put my shell over this for the double protection, and then you feel absolutely solid. 
So technically you don't need a shell over this, but I always take a shell just in case the weather turns extremely bad. Um, it's a great piece. Like I say, if you're starting out, it, it, it puts everything into one purchase. Can't recommend it highly enough. I live in the jacket version in the winter. I'm going away to the Alps again this winter ice climbing and my pile Pertex will be coming with me. So Montaigne, I think they've evolved this now to a level where it's just so great to wear. It's really soft, really comfy, great job. Thank you for watching. Uh, have a great winter. Hope you get loads done and keep safe. Thank you.